that in we're doing Warren style curry chicken, potato mash, and a cucumber and tomato relish. Right, I've got a whole chicken. It's quite small, so like I've had this two. One I've chopped up already, one I'm going to show you how I've chopped it. I'll take the skin off. You can't do a curry with this kind of skin on. You get the boiling chicken, you can cook that curry chicken with the skin on. Because that tightens up and burns up. This one goes a bit horrible and flat looking. Cut these bits off. It's quite easy to... I like to get as much skin off as I can. The only bit you can't get the skin off properly is around the wings, but they, they don't float about in the sauce and I think so. Tend to, I tend to leave them alone when I'm using a whole chicken. But I normally use legs and thighs because they're more flavour in them, I think. Backside of the chicken off. And a bit off. And I'll start cutting it into little pieces. Not too small, because as I say, this is a small chicken. If you cut it too small, it disintegrates. Then it just looks like a pot of bones. So, uh, I'll cut this into about, oh, about three pieces, this one. And I'll cut the breast piece into about four. But you can use boneless chicken if you want. You can, I tend to use chicken on the bone, I like. I like a curry with chicken on the bone, or mutton curry, or even beef curry. I use the ribs, the ribs part to make a beef curry, but that takes a lot longer. Well, this one, take it, depending, it could take 20 minutes, half hour at most, if you've got everything prepared and ready to chop up. So now I'm gonna put in half an onion, Finally, roughly, you can roughly cut it. A little bit more in, so I'll put that in. Right in there, I'll, I'll chop up with a little bit of thyme. because uh, it can be overpowering with chicken. If you put too much, you don't get the taste. You just get the spice. I'm gonna chop up a little bit of carrot. This will be like a garnish in there anyway. And I'll, towards the end of the dish, I'll chop up a little bit of uh, red and green pepper put in there as well. Right, Scotch bonnet peppers. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna start with one and a half. And see how I go. I can always add a bit. If I put too much at the start, I can't take it out. So I tend to put less and add a little bit if I need it. Right, now the seasoning. Let's get rid of this rubbish here. Seasonings. In the curries, I'll put a little bit of turmeric. As I say, curry chicken, chicken doesn't take a lot of seasoning, so I'll put one teaspoon of turmeric in there. Tandoori powder. That's quite strong. So I'll put one of that in there. And that's one little bit. Curry, I'll put two of these ones. Two curries in there. Seasonal. I'll put two in there of that as well. If you put too much season all in your meat and that is, it's got a lot of salt in there, so you have to be careful. I put one tablespoon of salt. Right, I've got some chicken stock here, chicken stock powder. I put one and a half of that one in there. Right, now the garlic, I put three cloves in that amount of chicken. If I can get it out of the bowl. Chop 
that up, just roughly really, because that'll break down nice. You can need this for a while to marinate, but as I say, chicken don't take a lot, so uh, you don't just like go mad and leave this overnight. And nothing because uh, the flavour seeps right into the meat anyway. Here we have it. This is my curry chicken, ready for the pan. Give my hands a quick wash. We'll put this in. Try that simple when you put it. Don't like this in the pan. Alright, sit in the meat, throw it away. You can't turn it, you can't keep turning too much because it can break up. So, like, do it all over it to keep it right up. In the meantime, while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to start to peel some potatoes. That chicken nearly cooked anyway. I'm going to turn this up. I'm going to use a sweet potato, an all green potato. I'm going to put this in boiling water. What have got here? Add some salt. to the blog. Should take that long really, it should take 15 20 minutes. And then that should be ready. Put my curry chicken in a quick stir. And I'm going to do it to this curry chicken there. Not too much water. I'll try and keep it under the level of the chicken because water still comes out of the chicken. Get more flavour like that. I'll pour the sweet potato and the ordinary potatoes and I'll make a quick mash. But I'm not going to put milk and stuff in. I'm just going to put butter. Well, margarine, a bit of margarine. So it's going to go with the curry chicken, and I don't want to uh, make it too wet. So I'll mash this up now. And the two colours are mixing up. So I'll mix that with a spoon now. Style. I just want to quickly garnish this with some spring onion to give it a bit of colour in there. Finally chop it. Greens I use with turmeric, tandoori powder, seasonal, curry powder, garlic, a little bit of chicken stock, and scotch bonnet pepper. In the sweet potato, I just used a sweet potato and one all green potato, like a medium sized one, and just uh, mix in a bit of margarine or butter.
it's really tender. Beautiful on the bone. Let's try a little bit of mash. That's really nice. And they complement each other. But there you have it. Warren's take on curry chicken, the sweet potato mash. Warren style.